We're making pasta out of cauliflower, y'all. Let's go. A few weeks ago, you may have watched me during a live trying to create a pasta made with cauliflower rice. That one was an epic fail, but this one works. It's quite a simple recipe. I think the most annoying thing would be to drain the water out of the cauliflower, but I'm gonna show you two ways of how to do that. The nutritional information and your shopping list is listed in the description box. Let's get into the recipe now. I'm just going to show you two ways to drain the cauliflower. I'm using veggie rice, which is just grated cauliflower frozen. I'm adding the whole 500 gram bag to a lined baking sheet and spread it. With the oven on the lowest heat setting, I'm going to dehydrate the cauliflower rice for about two hours. Or I think this one is even easier. Place a thin tea or dish towel or cheesecloth over a bowl, then microwave the cauliflower rice for two minutes from frozen and place that into the covered bowl. We then twisted the cloth and drained the water by squeezing and you can see here I did a good job. <laughs> Got rid of the cloth and ground the cauliflower using an immersion blender. I got about 250 grams of mashed cauliflower here, which is the whole bag. And I'm just going to place the dehydrated and mashed cauliflower next to it, which is darker in color on the right. This is just so you can see the differences later. We really need a couple of ingredients to further absorb the moisture. So to the bowl, add two tablespoons of golden flaxseed meal or psyllium husk powder, one tablespoon of gelatin powder, one teaspoon of salt, and one egg white. You can also add one teaspoon of xanthan gum if you wish to make the pasta even stronger or add a pinch of turmeric powder. Mix it really well until fully combined and you have one consistency. This is the difference between the two different pastas and just a reminder the darker one has been dehydrated. It has a much more runny texture. It's not a problem at all and you will see why later. Anyway, I coated two sheets of parchment paper or baking paper with oil, just a light brush. And then I cut the ball of dough in half so it's easy to work with and rolled out the dough to about three millimeters or one eighth of an inch thickness. By the way, after you've rolled it, you can actually fry them and make tortillas if you like. I used a pasta cutter to quickly cut the fettuccine shape and slid the baking paper just like that onto a baking sheet. To dehydrate your pasta, you would just leave it on your bench top overnight or you could place it in the oven and set the temperature to the lowest oven temperature setting and have your light switched on and the fan as well. And then it would need about an hour. After that, it's ready to enjoy. You would only need to add it to your sauce, maybe 10 seconds of cook time, so just stir it in because the pasta is already cooked. Here, let me show you the results and what happens. I placed the pasta into boiling water for about 10 seconds, removed it, and here it is. I think the best way would be to just stir it into the sauce when the sauce is hot and cooked and the heat's turned off. So there we go guys, keto pasta made with cauliflower. If you do get to make it, please send me photos on Facebook or Instagram because I just love seeing all your beautiful dishes. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well.